Well, the first thing we do, every donor that comes in to donate is actually the test process starts that day, believe it or not. A lot of people don't think of it that way. But we prick every donor's finger to check their iron level. Uh, and we do that either through a hemoglobin test or hematocrit test. Different places do different things. Uh, so we do that test that day, and that lets us know if for that day your iron is high enough for you to donate blood. Now, obviously, we're not going to take your blood if it's going to affect you negatively that day or in a, in a negative way that day. So we want to make sure you've got enough iron to be good when you leave, plus to be able to give us a pint uh, to help somebody in the hospital that actually needs it. So we do that test that day. There are uh, standard tests that we do to every unit of blood to every donor, no matter if you've donated one time or 600 times. You have the same test going on every time. That way it's standard across the board. We make sure that every unit is as safe as it possibly can be uh, here at the American Red Cross. So we do that. You know, some of the reasons our donors are deferred, you know, it can be reasons, you know, such as travel, hepatitis, you know, other things that come to play when the tests are done that lets us know this is not a safe unit. Uh, we do let donors know if their test comes up positive. We do let the donors know that by either a letter or a personal contact to let them know that, hey, you need to come back in and be retested because we want to make sure our tests are accurate and it, it was what it said it was. So we, don't, we want to get you back in and retest just to make sure that everything is good. Uh, you know, and we don't see an awful lot of lost products because of that. We have a very, very good donor base. They're answering our questions properly. They know, you know, if they've been in places or in situations, you know, that might be cause for deferral, and they don't give. You know, and most, you know, everybody's honest on their answers that we get, uh, we believe, and that, that makes our inventory as strong and as safe as it can be. So we do as good a job as we can do with the tests and, and, and our donors that are coming in with us and answering our questions properly. Uh, to do what we need to do, and that's maintain a safe blood supply.